Hey everyone, it's JoJo, and welcome to another Beyblade Burst Rise unboxing and review. I have another Hypersphere Beyblade for you all. This is Royal Genesis G5, a stamina type. So here is the front of the packaging, and it looks like we have some Hasbro exclusive parts in this Beyblade pack here. Alright, so again, here's the front and the back with all the parts and stats. This is a right spinning Beyblade a stamina type. The forge disc is D78 which looks new and the performance tip is TH20. And here we have the hypersphere meter. Very low in uh, run time which should not be because considering it's, an, it's a stamina type it should be high right? But it is pretty high in drop in frequency so we'll see how that performs in battle which we will get to at the end of the video. But for now let's get to unboxing. And here we have Royal Genesis G5. Let's start off with the energy layer and GT chip. All right, so this is kind of like Prime Apocalypse, but it is a stamina type, so it has smoother curves on the energy layer, as you can see. And here we have Prime Apocalypse A5, which has more a rugged uh, design to it, more for attack. And also the GT chips, aren't quite the same. This one has kind of like more claws going down on the middle, but it still has that dragon head on the top. Uh, this one has more of a sword just coming down toward the middle. So a little bit similar. Shape overall kind of the same like an oval, but again this is more of the, the stamina type so it is a little bit smoother and curvier than um, the attack type. Alright, so that is the top view. Here is a bottom view with the code to go ahead and scan so you can get that in the Beyblade Burst app. And this is also removable, the GT chip, which is unique to Hasbro and uh, the Takara Tomi version uh, does not do that. And we will be doing a comparison uh, in this video. All right, moving on, we have the Forge Disc. So this is exclusive to Hasbro as well. This is called Swipe or SW4 Swipe. And looking at it, it looked pretty cool. I really like the um, just like the overall shape of it but if you look on the other side it's pretty empty down here so I it, yeah when I picked it up it's like oh this is kind of light also a little bit thin as well it seems like it'd be really good for stamina still um, it kind of reminds me of 8 dash a little bit but a little bit more filled in if you will um, 8 dash has a lot of holes in it so so this one uh, will definitely have probably more stamina than um, than 8 dash I assume all right, and moving on, we have another Hasbro exclusive performance tip. This is Hybrid H, and I know what you're thinking. This is nothing like the Takara Tomy version, and we will get to that, so don't worry. It's got your traditional cone shape, like um, all the other ones. A little bit flatter on the top. Lots of like engravings and decals in here. It's got like these vent-looking things in here as well. One that makes it. Hmm, more aerodynamic or gives it more drag. We'll see. You know, just the little things like that might affect the outcome of battle. But uh, again, yeah, we'll see. All right, and I did put this Beyblade together earlier and it is really tight. It's kind of like the Cosmic Apocalypse one as well. So it's uh, pretty good, yeah. I doubt this will be bursting as much. Ooh, I like the way that stands up. Um, you can see that, um, that little edge there that kind of keeps it up or not. <laughs> Maybe if it was a little bit slower, but yeah, that looks looks a little promising, but again, we'll see. All right, so moving on, let's do a comparison to the Takara Tomy version, which is this one. So like a Prime, so like Prime Apocalypse, uh, the, ha the Takara Tomy version, it has that infinite burst lock system where you just keep spinning it, uh, but it does have uh, a point of weakness, if you will, um, at the top here, you can see kind of like this button here and this button as well. If you hold on to those, um, that will stop it from spinning and you could take your Beyblade apart. So before we get on to the driver, let's talk about the energy layer. All right, so same shape, same overall design, same colors. I think it, they did a pretty good job in replicating that in uh, that regard. But of course, the hat or the Takara Tomy version has these metal added to the side. Also, of course, this doesn't have 
This does have the burst locking mechanism, a little bit more metal on the bottom as well, but the GT chip does not come off. And yeah, that's pretty much the difference between the two. Uh, moving on, I think with the hybrid driver and the forged disc and performance chip on Haswell's part, I think they tried to like separate the two and then replicate it into two different uh, parts. So this kind of looks like the metal that's on the hybrid driver for Chikara Tomy. A little bit. You can kind of see some of the, the square shapes and the design that they tried to replicate in this forged disc. And obviously the biggest difference is um, that Hasbro does not have a motorized driver. So with the Takara Tomy version, you could turn this on and and this actually spins. The tip actually spins and you could also switch it to left or right spin. So right now it's in right spin and then you could just push this button over to the left and it will spin to the left. Also, there's um, it's a little program to like know when it's slowing down so it'll speed up a little bit or it'll turn the opposite direction. But at the same time, it's not very reliable. Sometimes it doesn't do what you want it to do. And uh, But still, it's overall, it's still very good for uh, stamina and left spinning type. Uh, Beyblades. So let's just weigh the layers because I know like this is obviously gonna outweigh everything. So Hasbro 11.30 and then Takara Tomy 26.49 and then let's see how much this weighs because we haven't seen this yet. 19 even! Okay not bad, not bad. And then Hasbro performance tip 9.15. Hey that's pretty heavy. I think all of them generally are around 8 grams. This one's around the nine, the nine gram range. And again, this fits really tight. Feels really good. All right, and that is Royal Genesis G5. Let's hop on down to the base stadium and do a test spin and test battle. Three, two, one, let it. All right, moved around a little bit toward the beginning, but it is a stamina type, so I do see that it's just staying right toward the middle of that part of the stadium. Test battle time. Let's see how well Royal Genesis does against Venom Devolos. Three, two, one, let it. Oh, made a jump. Oh, wow, that was a huge hit. Three, two, one, let it. Ooh, stamina is not so great. Last one. Three, two, one. Let it. Oh, there it is. Nice burst to top it off. That was great. All right, you guys, that is it for this unboxing and review of Beyblade Burst Rise Hypersphere Royal Genesis G5. What do you guys think about this Beyblade? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time with more Beyblade Burst. See you soon.